Hey everybody, how's it going? Chase here. And today we are going to be going over editing the game files and the INI of the Arc Survival Ascended servers, considering you cannot do it because they haven't shown you it. But I found out how. So what you want to do is, first of all, this box is completely empty, but you want to start with config files. This will bring you to this window with the game I and I. Then you want to go into the file manager and go to your Steam library, Steam apps, common, Arc Survival Ascended, shooter game, saved, config, windows, and you will see game. Now I've got like six windows of this open from trying to record it over and over but spending way too long waffling, um, you will have this here. You want to copy from this line all the way down to allow flyer speed leveling. So you copy this. You don't need this bottom bit here. You copy this, come into here, and paste it into here. Now, bear in mind, this is for your single player settings. So you want to make a few tweaks for a server. So if you were to like, so I've made tweaks to the cuddles. I haven't made any tweaks to the imprinting or the grace period or the imprint quality loss. Um, however, I have made edits to the crop growth speed to make it 10 times faster. Um, the egg hatch speed to be 15 times faster, the mature speed to be 75 times faster because it's very slow. And I like them growing up faster so I can actually play the game instead of standing there playing my AFK game. I have turned all of these up to two, so it's a two times multiplier. Um, and now a couple things I want to state before you just stop after this. Um, the multiplier for the baby mature speed is extremely fast if you do not disable, if you do not turn off single player settings. So you want to go down to here, change this from true to false. Now, if you play on anything above the um, base game max level of 150, so for example, I play on override difficulty of 7, so the max level for me is 210. I've had to change this because I did notice some level um, 10 things popping up around my base and they shouldn't have been there. Yeah, so I've edited this so that the max difficulty will not be overridden to 150 regardless of what I have it on. So this has made it so I am on my, my settings. So you want this set to false. Another one which I've done because I like to place things in cliffs and stuff sometimes is the disable structure placement collision equals true. This is a set to false by default. And yeah, I've made it so I can place things in the cliff. I will show you a quick example in a minute. Bear in mind, it will be a little bit stuttery because of encoding. I haven't sorted that out yet. Um, now we come to the bottom here. I have turned these onto true, but... I did only have this one on true when you see the recording. This I've only recently changed to true. I don't know if it works. Right here, it will pop up saying yes or no, if it did work or not. Then you want to go to, oh, you want to save your changes first. Always save your changes. Otherwise that file will all disappear. Then you go over to your game user settings and you come down to the bottom of the server settings category, which is at the very top. And you come down to about 65 on the number, using the numbers on the side. So 65 is your server PVE equals false or true if you're on PVE. I don't know if there's any more text below it, but as long as you don't put it in this one's box, like so if you don't put it in here, it's got to be above it. So I've, I've left the funny number blank. I did put this line of text in and I don't know if that's working or not. So I did the other one and it's not really that much different regardless. So this is where you will add things like the harvest multiplier and the taming speed. You add these two in and if you go on to the arc fandom wiki, you can see things such as 
the harvest health multiplier and the harvest amount multiplier. The harvest amount multiplier is obviously the one which is in there. And the taming speed multiplier, blah, blah, blah. Everything is in here that shows the settings for Arc Survival Evolved. But these transfer over to Arc Survival Ascended perfectly fine. So these are what are on there. So five times taming and two times gathering. And I will take you to the in-game example. And bear in mind, the encoding is a bit rubbish right now. So it's going to be a little bit st stuttery. Like me sometimes. Anyway, I'll see you there. Oh, <laughs> I clicked on the game and shot an arrow. So here we are in game. And I just wasted a trank. Um, easiest way to test a gathering. See this stone right here? Doesn't have to be this specific stone, but any stone on the ground. If you look over on the left side, you will see I've just picked up two stones. So now this means my two times gathering is in effect. I now have 10 stones from picking up five. And the taming, I can't massively show you that because it's nothing. Yeah, so this is what I mean about the overriding the um, max level thing it's a bit broken for me that's not supposed to be level 15 so that's why you want to disable the max difficulty as i want things going up in intervals of seven i can't show you the egg hatching because everything's on cooldown because of me doing testing earlier um but what i can show you is ba -ba -da -ba. so here's a good example i have placed this here now this is too close to the cliff so that's considered a collision. So it will not let me do this one. Whereas like I could place it over there. Actually, let's just pick this up. So now this would normally be red saying that I can't place it here because it's colliding with that. But, but with the collision override, I have made it so I can place it in the walls. So yeah. That's the example, and that's all of it done. I hope this is helpful. If you need anything clarified, just leave a comment, and I will do what I can to help you out. Um, yeah, hope I was helpful. See you again. Goodbye for now, and I'm starving in-game.